Hi guys. Um, welcome to today's live session with stalls. I am shaking my table, <laughs> so my hands off. Um, let me know if you can hear me just fine in the comments. I'm sure if you cannot hear any sound out of my mouth, you'll let me know as well. So I'll just wait a couple of seconds for everybody to hop on or streaming um, on both Facebook and YouTube today. Um, I'm Kelly Walters. I'm one of the educators here with Stalls, and I am in Kansas. So I always love to see where you guys tune in from. So pop below in the comments um, where you're tuning in from. And always, thanks for tuning in with us. Um, if you've noticed, we are going later in the day, hoping that um, it's a little more convenient for some of you guys. So we're hoping you love the new time. Let's see. Okay, cool. You guys can hear me. So we are ready to rock and roll. Now, today's um, little party session that we're going to have is in regards to the giveaway that we have um, with both stalls and Roland. And in that case, we are doing a giveaway for a Roland GS24. And then you will also receive three five yard rolls, rolls, rolls of CAD cup material along with an easy weeder. So a couple of things we're going to do today is first go over all of the details, requirements, the how to of um, getting in on this giveaway. The second, we're going to just list a couple of details about um, this beautiful little GS24 here. And then we will cut, weed, and heat apply a nice summary, very, very simple design, um, just so you guys can see how easy it is to work with. If you are either looking to upgrade from a craft cutter or add in an additional cutter, um, this is the perfect time to enter into this giveaway so you can hopefully win it. Now we are only giving away one package on this. Um, let's see, is it Dwayne? I see question marks. Can you hear me? <laughs> am, I, am I broadcasting okay? Um, so let's jump right in. Now, the wonderful thing, Stacy is on the other side. You will see all of the links coming in from her. She's there to help answer questions if for some reason I miss it. And as we are going through each, um, I'm gonna call it checklist, right? To enter into this giveaway. She will post each link to go and take you directly to that. So I wanted to make this as easy and as simple for you, right? Um, so why not get a free cutter and or hopefully win the free cutter and then just follow all of these steps. So, okay, the first thing, you have to be 18 and, or older, okay? So 18 plus. Um, next thing is you have to be a U.S. citizen. Sorry, guys. I know there are several of you not currently in the States that are watching, so thank you for joining us. <laughs> but um, the second thing is you can only enter once, meaning the link that um, Stacy will post that will take you to the registration, you can only register one time, okay? That puts you in the automatic um, little, little drop box to, to win, right? But there's additional entries for doing some fun things. Well, we think they're fun, right? So the first thing is to make sure you like our stalls page on Facebook and then join our Heat Press for Profit group. So um, that is one combined little task to get you a second entry. So like the page, join the group. Easy. Second thing is comment on an Instagram post. Specifically, um, it's a specific post. So the link that you'll see from Stacy will take you directly to that post. Now, there are a couple of things that I've noticed when it comes to clicking on an Instagram link. Sometimes you have to then go in and 
sign into Instagram in order to pull that up. And then sometimes links don't work. So hopefully this one will be um, just a click and take you right to what you need. Facebook, comment on an IG post. Next is follow us on Pinterest. So that's another easy one, right? It's just click, 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 done. And then the last and final is subscribe to YouTube. Now, those four that I just mentioned, they are not mandatory to enter into this contest. So what is mandatory is that you fill out the registration page and do all of that fun stuff. The other four tasks are just additional entries to add on to that. So you can't go in and fill out the registration page like 16 times and then go do all the tasks. It's the registration page and then with those tasks if you want bonuses. Okay, <laughs> so first, does anybody have any questions on that? Um, let's see, I'm seeing da, 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 da. Okay, so Stacy is saying comment on the Roland giveaway post on Instagram. So I believe it's a pretty solid graphic if you were to go to look at our, um, oh my gosh, feed, then, or yeah, our feed, then you would see the Instagram post with uh, the Roland printer. Okay, so Rose beat me to it. When is the drawing? The last day to enter is April 30th. Um, so I failed you on that. I did not get the actual drawing date. Um, I would assume it would come extremely fast after that, but just know that um, April 30th is the last day to go on and register. So Stace, do you know when the drawing for all of it is actually taking place? I know I can't hear you, but I'm going to wait for you to respond. Okay, so with that, you get the GS24 and the stand. Okay, let's see if I can make this go down just a little bit. So the stand does come with the GS24, and then you will also get coral glitter flake that I have in the cutter. That's what we're going to use today. And then you get Thermal Film Hero Red. So it's just a little bit brighter of a red. I think it's really pretty. And then it is Vegas Gold in Thermo Film. So if you are a Chiefs fan, I mean, that's like pretty spot on. Um, otherwise, the red would be great to use um, for 4th of July. You know, we, we'll just keep going. Okay, so really good colors. Fun to play with, um, Italian, Italian girl, yes, red is my fave. I love red and I love blue and green. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So um, to answer Rose's question about how we will contact the winner, um, the winner will be emailed and they will be chosen randomly through the app you enter on. So um, there you go. There is your answer. I love it. People are loving Vegas gold and a Niners fan, red, coral. Yes, love it. Okay, so great colors, rock and roll, right? So if you aren't too familiar with a GS24, why is it special? Why is it um, maybe better to use than a craft cutter? Or why would you go to a GS24 upgrading from a craft cutter? Um, so I'm going to give you four things, right? So with this, you can either do 12, 15, hold on, there we go, 20 inch rolls. This is a 20 inch roll and it actually sits on rollers back here that help feed the material, um, just glide the material through the pinch rollers. Now, the second thing is you can also use sheets. So instead of having to put a sheet on um, one of the sticky things, brain not working. Um, I'm looking at it right there with my cameo, but you can just put the sheet in there and it will actually measure the sheet for you. So that's a huge plus time saver as well. Now it's a servo motor, so it's gonna be a lot more quiet, a lot quieter. 
Um, I think one time Jenna called it like a broken dinosaur or a dinosaur eating a dumpster. It's more, it's more of a smooth sound rather than crackling is the best way for me to describe it. Um, and then it is, you do have more accuracy. The third thing would be that you can um, cut up to 20 inches per second. So much, much faster in terms of production. And then, of course, another bonus to this without having to do like a 12 by 12 sheet and being able to pop in a roll is you don't have to do just one logo at a time. So if you have a job for, say, 30 left chests and depending on the amount of length, you could just pop all of those 30 left chests out and then um, weed as you need to or how you prefer. You have more control with um, how much faster you're able to produce logos, cut, weed, and then the faster you can do it, the more you make per hour, and of course, the more time you have for more jobs. So, okay, now that we've just briefly touched on a GS24, you can find all of the specs on the GS24 on stalls.com. Um, there are, uh, there's a document, a PDF that will pop up and will give you all of the breakdown. Now this is a 24 inch, um, cutter and I believe it's like 22.9, maybe 22 inches in width, which is the longest roll that you could use. So from there, let's, let's go ahead and cut weed and apply. You may not see me weed today. Um, my space is a little different, as you can see, um, but I'm going to do my best to show you. <laughs> there we slowly but surely um, right here. Okay. Now let's 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 rock and roll. I am just gonna briefly show you the art. Like I said, it's very simple today. But uh, it is raining here in Kansas City, and I need to see some sun. So we'll go this route. All right, so let's see. Let's just make sure you can see everything. Okay, so simple, right? You've probably seen this type of design over and over again. This is a design that is actually in our template section in cadworkslive.com. Now, if you go to templates, you'll see lake. And then right by the E, there was a life, but I removed it because I just want it to be simple, simple, okay? So this is what we're going to cut. Now, with that being said, let me, don't want to end that. Hold on. Okay, with that being said, um, I'm not going to show you vector cut I'm just going to keep it on this. That way you guys can see that whole process. And um, instead of going back and forth between the screens. Now, somebody, I did just see the comment was, um, how do you get into the drawing? So Karen on YouTube, we briefly talked about it right when we went live, but you should, maybe not, um, you may not be able to see it. There is, let's see it. Bear with me. It's being posted in Facebook and not YouTube. So it's going to be a bitly. I'm going to tell it to you right now. <laughs> so if you, I'm going to give you a couple seconds, get a paper for those of you that are on YouTube, write this down or pop open another browser and um, type this in. You can also go to stalls.com and one of the book first banners that you will see is the, um, is like artwork for the stalls and roll and giveaway. So you can easily click on that and it will take it to you, but I'm going to, I'm going to read the bitly. Okay. It is H T T P S colon, <laughs> um, backslash backslash B I T period L Y. Ooh, maybe those are forward slashes. Yep, those are forward slashes. Forward slash 31K 
capital R F Q Z. It's a forward opposite of this forward slash instead of backslash. So like I said, if I just butchered that for you and it took you nowhere, go to solves.com and you will see um, the post, click it and it'll take you directly to it. It is super, super simple. And if you are signed up for our blog posts, um, I know that that got sent out or is it getting sent out? Stacy? let me know. Cause I know you said you just wrote it, but I'm not sure if it's sent out or not. So stay tuned for those. Okay. Now that we just pivoted, let's get back on track. Karen, I hope that did help you and did not make things worse. Let me pop open my vector cut. All right, so all I'm doing is just threading the material and then adjusting with my pinch rollers. Now it is going to take the material to the edge and then it also just measured the width that I have to use. So it's telling me I have 18 inches from roller to roller. So I'm just adjusting that in my vector cut. Now this design, we are doing nine, it's like nine by 9.14. No, oh, Italian girl. Uh, I will definitely let him know that's so sweet. <laughs> We're glad that it has been excellent for you. We love, um, we all, we love feedback, but of course we love something to like something like that when you know that they've been extremely helpful for you. So thank you very, very much. Um, and Stacy said the blog post went live last night. So if you are signed up for those type of notifications, then there was a wonderful blog post that was emailed out with all of the instructions and the how and what to's. Okay, I'm going to pop me back up instead of looking at the press that nobody is at. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I did change my blade last week. You can't see. One more time. I just increased it to 90. Um, to, you know, with the new blade, you can always, you guys, there is, I need more light right here. Okay, we're ready. Now, what I'm going to do, since I just test I just test cut. I'm going to reset my origin where it's at. So it's telling me I have 12.5 inches to work with and our artwork is nine inches in width. So I have plenty of room and instead of adjusting that roll, going back up to the top, I'm just going to start there versus, um, you know, having to adjust anything else. That's another reason why I love using a roll-in cutter just because I can do, I can make the adjustments I need and not have to worry about putting another piece of material in there. Uh, Paradise of Pugs, it is random. Um, I would love the idea if it was a random <laughs> spinning wheel, but I'm sure that will be thousands of names to input. So you will be notified um, via email if you are the winner. Let's see. Hello, everybody tuning in. I see you guys are still coming on board with us. Okay, so I'm sitting ready to go. Now, once this is done cutting, I am not going to unplug my cable. I found that when I do that, it glitches and causes you guys to um, like no longer see me. 
So I'm gonna just adjust my angle a little bit. So bear with me when that is done. It's doing the box and we are complete. Now you can either feed the material this way. <laughs> As you can see, it's slowly but surely. And then you could cut it this way, but nobody got time for that right now. There went the roll. And then I'm gonna cut it. All right, so normally I would love to have a little weeding space for you guys to see, but this is, this is how we're gonna leave today. And I'm gonna answer some more questions. So, ooh, Cindy Long, my best friend lives in Boulder, so hello. This is a little more difficult than what I was expecting. No. Hi, um, sorry about that. We lost. I moved my mouse and I clicked us out. Okay, I did see some questions. So, restored and highly favored. Is that right? Yep. How do we do the giveaway? There is a website that will take you to an app. That's where the application is located. From there, multitasking apparently I can't weed and talk at the same time from there it will give you all of the instructions so you will fill out the application and then there are also five four other ways to have entries and that is by following us um, on Pinterest making sure that you like uh, our Facebook page and enter our or join our Heat Press for Profit group. Comment on an Instagram post. And let's see, what was the last one? Oh, subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I probably could have up to a hundred on this. Um, some letters are popping off, but because um, glitter flake is extremely tacky, I am able to just pop those guys right back down. So it's taking me just a little bit longer. We're almost done. Okay, so this is the coral. It's a really, really pretty color. It's kind of popping up um, a little bit of yellow due to the light and the glitter in there. But let me see if I can get out of this. There you go. So it's a really, really pretty color. Okay. Oh, there's the L. All right, so this is where we're at. I'm working over a keyboard. Let's see. Okay, Sonia. Puff vinyl as in soft foam. Let me know if that's what you are talking about. Let's see. Yes, one out of a couple. You got it. Um, let's see. Mr. D. Woods, if you're referring to this color, I would call it more of a neon. Um, let's say neon pink and neon orange had a baby. This is what the color would be. Okay. 
Sorry, guys. Screw, uh, scroll in here. Okay, I think I am caught up for the most part. So I am just going to tack this L back down. Seeing that it here. <sighs> this is what I. Uh, you're not going to see it. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's cut. We are um, pressing on a just Bella canvas, but it's like this really pretty mint. It's actually a little bit lighter than what you guys are seeing in the camera right now. I'm going to pop this up. I'll just popped off again. <gasps> like, like, no, it'll be fine. fine. I can, I can, I can weed. I can weed holding, holding it. it. No. Okay, okay so, so I'm going to quickly just cut, cut um, um, the, the remainder of the, of the material off that we don't need. I don't need any other. Okay, so I'm just going Now, now I, I will tell you where, where I'm at. at. I, can I can only, only have, have my press or my cutter running. Okay, okay, so, so I'm going to send, send you officially to the, the press. press. Okay. okay. So, so as, as you can, can see, see, I am using the tag along button. Let me just shut, shut that, that door. door. And, and we are, are going to pre press, press to get just to get, to get out, out all the wrinkles. I can see this shirt is extremely wrinkled. And, um, you know, we're moving the moisture text. Text. Test my pressure, which is good. For only, only at 200, 200 degrees, degrees because I forgot to turn on. So, so let's, let's quickly, quickly come back, back here, guys. Oh, yes, I have an echo, echo problem because of this. this. Okay, okay so what questions, questions do you have for me um, in, in terms of the color, the, the package, package, the promo? Um, I'm, I'm seeing all. Oh, are you guys still, still having that? that? Echo. I'm seeing, seeing it from both Facebook, Facebook and YouTube right now. Stacey, Stacey do you have electro, an echo, an echo. An echo? Oh man. Okay. okay. Um. Better. Okay. Thanks. Okay, we are climbing in terms of heat. I'm just gonna pre-press this again, see if we can get some more wrinkles out. Better, great. Okay, so, ah! It's all coming off, there you go. This is our logo, it is a nine, <laughs> Victor. Um, a nine by 9.14. You can find the template on cadworkslive.com. And if you're just now tuning in, we have gone over all of the steps that you need to complete and the how to to enter into the stalls and Roland uh, vinyl cutter and material giveaway. You get three rolls of five yards of CAD cut material, you get a weeder the Roland and the stand, you have until April 30th to register into that. Unfortunately, it's only available for the US. Um, to those of you that are tuning in outside of the US, and you have to be 18 or older. So even if you are an entre entrepreneur at the age of 16, you still have to be 18 years of age. Okay, so 
I don't want to keep you guys waiting for this thing to uh, heat back up. So the application instructions, so the TTP, which is the time, temperature, and pressure, are extremely important when it comes to heat decorating um, and applying vinyl or anything that you would apply by a heat press, right? So 302 is glitter flake for 10 to 12 seconds at medium pressure, and it is a hot peel. I will tell you, I am currently at 217. I'm adjusting my seconds. And I really want to wait just a little bit longer before I do this. Um, this is something that I can easily go back and heat apply again or just heat press again. So strictly for visual purposes, I am going to... Um, apply glitter flake we're at 223 so we're getting closer and closer at a lower temperature than what is um, the TTP recipe which is 302 degrees I'm saying that because if you're going to do um, any type of selling or washing don't apply it at 227 degrees apply it at the 302 Okay, so now that we've set that president, let's let's go over and apply. So this is the logo. I'm gonna just push these guys down as much as I can since it's lifting. And then I'm going to meet up the X's and then just crease in the middle. There's my L. Now I am just eyeballing where I think this should go. As you guys can see, it's just not wanting to stay. So I have the tag-along flatten. That's what I am using right now. And um, in terms of ease, it is so nice to use when it comes to t-shirts. We're going to keep him off, and we're just going to go and add him a second time. Okay, so I'm about four inches down from the neck. I'm just going to wiggle it up. Now, what you can do to make this easy is this tag-along flatten is specifically the tag-along because you can put the tag right here. You can do your own logo and material breakdown, but I love this, even if I'm not using a tag, because most of the time, this is where the center of the shirt should be, and then I'm just going to follow that through up to that notch that I've created. All right. We're at 252, guys, so we, we are continuing to climb. So I am just going to tack this down like it's a two color. I'm going to hot peel. And then I'm going to come to this side and lay this down the best that I can. If I don't want it to move, I am going to use some thermo tape. Cover sheet again, and then we're going to finish it off for the 10 seconds. And by now, we should be at the 302, so I'm going to cross my fingers. So that will just peel, and then I'll see you guys front and center. Hey, okay. Right, this 
done. So just really fun, light, easy, nice, bright colors. I think we could only go to the lake right now. <laughs> it is, let's see, 52 degrees here. Not quite. So just fun and easy. Um, I love mixing bright colors like that and just making it a little unique. I think it's really, really, really fun. Um, let me go through some of these questions. Yes. Um, this is where I had mentioned that I should have increased my force just a little bit when it came to weeding. Um, I don't know if you saw, I had just a little bit of an issue weeding vertically weather versus on a table. But yes, it would have been so much easier to see my cut marks and then just line that little guy right back up. Um, darn letters, Dave. <laughs> ah, they got me today. Let's see. Um, Amanda, if you have any questions, go ahead and just pop them in the comments. Uh, I'll hang out for about five more minutes and review any questions anybody else has. Um, I can't go back and, or I can go back and talk about what you talked about, but I'm not quite sure what your questions were on the card. There we go. Um, okay. When using a heat press, how do I stop your vinyl from reacting to the heat before you are set and ready to press? Do I just have to work faster? Yes. So there are a couple of ways um, to help with that. If, what are you having happen when it is reacting? Because if it's starting to like kind of curl up or release from the carrier, if it's a hot peel material, which is kind of what is happening or what was happening with the glitter flake, it's a hot peel. Um, I am now in a different part of my house where I'm going to uh, be going live and um, recording. It is much warmer in this um, room versus being in a basement with tile so the heat, I feel like, automatically starts to release or the material automatically starts to release from the carrier just because of the temperature. So, yes, work just a little bit quicker. If you are noticing it um, more and more and more, then we can definitely you know, troubleshoot with you. Customer service is amazing. Um, and anybody that you see that goes live with stalls or does our education, we just had a full color event all day yesterday. Um, we're all here to help and answer those questions. Okay. Uh, oh, Denise, I'm glad you saw that. Um, yes, it is glitter flake. And that is one of the colors that is included in the giveaway that we're doing. Um, Brian, you are very welcome. <laughs> I didn't want to say you have to work faster, but <laughs> that's, you answered it yourself. What is going on with my hair? Um, let's see. Yes, very good. Um, and I don't mean that condescending. That was a great pickup for me to not even touch on that. Um, so exactly. So Mr. D Woods hit this nail on the head with the tag along platen that you guys just saw. So this foam part and then the front, um, you could have done a left chest. You could have done a center, a full front and the tag at the same time so one and done because what's actually happening is this tag isn't sticking out past the 16 by 20 right here it is right under the heating element so the whole point with that platen um is so that it is bam bam and you have moved on so very very nicely done so Okay, a um, couple more seconds to see if anything else comes through. If you are on Facebook, Stacey has linked all of the links um, 
to either register to win, to add in the additional entries. If you are tuning in on YouTube, make sure you um, head to the Facebook page as well and like and join the Heat Press for Profit group because that is part of the additional entries um, if you are registering to win. And why not have five chances instead of one, right? Um, okay, guys, I think that's it. So thanks for tuning in on this Thursday. Um, have a magnificent weekend and have a great day. Okay, bye, guys.